You keep watching to see how I did this makeup look. Moisturize, prime and apply your foundation. This is NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona in the center of my face. And then blending it out really well with your foundation brush. I then go in with a slightly darker foundation and on the outsides of my face. Prime your eyelids. I'm then using YDK in Naked Palette 2 and just pushing that onto my eyelid. Then get some buck and put that into your crease line and then start to blend it out. Just cleaning up under my eyes from where the fallout of the eyeshadow. Get a white and put that on your brow bone and just blend that out. Fill in your eyebrows and conceal under your eyes. I'm using Trick and Treatment to highlight under my eye area. On a pencil brush, putting some buck on for under my eyes. You can also use a pencil for this if you don't have the eyeshadow and then just blend it out. Put some sin on the inner corner of your eyes to brighten them up. Put your mascara on. Quick note, if you've ever bought mascara that you don't like or you don't like the wand, don't throw it away because I've got one here that I don't like the wand. So what I do is I just take the wand out and my telescopic has started to dry out now because I've been using it a lot. So all I do is take that one out, put it into the other one so it's got product on it, put it back into its normal container so that it brushes off all the excess and use that because it's not the formula so much that changes your eyelashes, it's actually the brush. You can tell the difference between these two brushes. This one does nothing for my eyelashes at all, whereas this one does. So um, I get to use the brush more because I use a product, uh, another mas mascara that I don't want anymore. Another tip, if you don't want to contour with actual foundation or with a darker bronzer or anything else, um, another tip is I bought um, this Shine Away Compact Powder by Collection 2000 a while ago when I was, last year when I was darker skin colored, when I had a tan, and it's deep, the color, and it's too dark for me right now. So I went and bought the medium one because I really like these compact powders. They're really, really good. So that's the color. I'll get the light one first. Just get a powder brush and just put that in the center of my face. Just the center. Then you get the darker one, and this is what you're going to contour with. So you put it on your brush, and on the top of your forehead, you can just brush this on. So this is going to give you more of a natural contouring than a harsh line which you have to then blend out. Now I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks, and it's worked really well, and it just ends up being that I can actually use my products without them sitting around waiting for me to get a tan. Um, so the temples, the reason why you do your temples is it makes this bit go in, which makes your cheekbones look higher. So that's why all this bit here, the top bit here, is always contoured. Not this bit here, this bit here up here. And then you can do the same with your jawline. And because it's powder, you don't really have to be that precise and it gives you a nice shadow and just in the hollows of your cheek you don't have to do just the section here same on the other side see it works and you can actually do the sides of your nose even though it's a big fat brush i just squeeze it like that and just lightly put it on the side of your nose and because it's not a harsh line it blends in really well. So yeah, that's a, uh, another tip for you guys. Putting a bit of Smashbox Artificial Light on the top of my cheekbones. And then Natural Collections Bronzing Pearls, which are my absolute favourite blush. Collection 2000's 
bronzing shimmer shades. I'm using the lighter shade at the top of my cheekbones and then dabbing on the pinker one on my apple of my cheeks. This really gives you a such a nice glow. Grab a nudie pink lip liner and I'm using Chatterbox which is nearly finished, it's my absolute favourite MAC lipstick. Barry M's number 5 lip gloss. Is this is the finished look. It's the one that I had on my uh, previous video, I'll put the link for it around here somewhere so you can see that. I've jazzed it up a little bit because I'm going out tonight so I've used a brighter lip and more blush. I have a lot of makeup on but I wanted this glow because we're, tonight we'll be taking photos with my girlfriends. It just comes out nice on photos and these are my eyes. See, I literally just used two products, Buck and YDK, I don't know what that stands for. Um, but those two. And I also used a bit of Sin from the original Naked palette because I just wanted my eyes to pop out a bit more uh, because it is an evening look. And on my lips I've used Chatterbox by MAC and Barry M's number five lip gloss. They don't have names for some reason. My new hair colour, yeah, yeah, got the ombre effect, the dip dye effect, done yesterday. So this was a five, a six, a BV which is a blue violet and a yellow by Aveda. And the bottoms were just dip dyed in um, bleach. Just lighten them up a bit more and that's a finished look so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye i've only put